Botox is safe. It's been used for the last 25 years in ophthalmology and we use it for aesthetic purposes here at Skilinil. But we also do a lot of patients who come in for migraines. I mean, some patients are absolutely desperate for their migraines. We inject Botox and you know, a week later, two weeks later, the, the amount of migraines they experience decreases. So it's actually, they've done clinical trials on the Botox, which have been uh, peer-reviewed in America, and they have now actually FDA-approved Botox for migraines. And then what we also do a lot of is hyperhidrosis, which is excessive underarm sweating. I mean, some people, as I say, they, they're so embarrassed about the sweating, especially people who are out in the public eye and they're presenting and they have these huge sweat patches all the time. Because the, the uh, hyperhidrosis, the, uh, the sweating comes when they're stressed. Not when they're just doing normal activities, and you know when you're up there on the stage and, and you're stressing, that's when you start getting the you know the auxiliary patches. So we do that, and um, it's a quick procedure. It takes ten minutes, and it lasts up to six, from six to nine months. Botox, in fact, is safer than Panada and aspirin. I'm, I'm not sure if you know that. You know, I mean, there's never ever been a death due to Botox that's synthesized properly. I mean, they've been. Uh, Problems with Botox, but they've come from an unreliable source, and it's, it's, humanly, it's normally uh, veterinarian Botox. And Botox has been injected for the last 25 years in, uh, in ophthalmology, and that's how they actually found out found out about the benefits of Botox for uh, the anti-aging business. So in medicine, Botox is actually a miracle drug. There must be two, three hundred conditions that uh, Botox helps. I mean, for blepharospasm, when you've got a very uh, Plasm in your eye that you can't actually keep your eye open, so you're functionally blind. There's for uh, people who've got um, torticollis where you have painful spasms of the neck, cerebral palsy, children who can't actually open their, their hands and feed themselves and do the, you know, comb their hair. They get Botox into the palms, into the muscles of the palms to relax that muscle. Stroke patients have the same problem. Oh, they give it for, you can give it for prostate, um, prostate problems, urinary incontinence, uh, TMJ, and for bruxism, which is teeth grinding and clenching. And by giving a little bit of Botox in these muscles here, it takes about a month for those muscles to slim down, but you reduce the force of the clench or the, the grinding that you do. So number one, you're decreasing the pain that you're getting in the um, TMJ area. You are shaping your face. Very often these women or men have big, um, trapezoid shaped faces, you can see them you know, immediately, they've got these huge masseter of muscles, so you're actually getting a very pleasing shape by slimming down the muscles. And, and then another benefit is that you prevent the, all those fractures and tiny um, chips in the teeth that eventually lead to you know, long term dental problems where you have to have teeth implants down the line. So it helps prevent the, the, uh, that excessive force on the teeth. And not many people know about this, you know, that you can actually come and slim your jowls down and you do it twice a year for the first year and eventually you can, you know, act, uh, you can wait longer between treatments because you actually break the habit of you know, uh, grinding your teeth.